there's a problem. There's a problem. Let's uh, turn the car on. Uh, this is my 2013 uh, Scion FRS. Let's turn the car on. All right, that's good. Let's, oh, that, that windshield looks kind of dirty. Let's clean that. Um, where, where, where's the wipers? It ain't working. Okay, let's put her on full. Full's working good. High speed, yeah. And then, do you hear that? Let's listen to that. Okay. Now that's lubricated. It's lubricated. But look how slow that's going. This just started happening last night. You can hear the motor working in there. You can see it working in there. Then when I put it on high, that groaning noise goes away. That's normal. This is too slow. This is my normal speed, but this is too slow for the normal speed. And you can see it's laboring. It's groaning. It's sort of like me when I get out of bed in the morning. Looks like we got ourselves a problem. And that could have something to do with the fact that we have 191,113 kilometers on this car. And the fact that it's making that noise, which I believe is coming from the wiper motor, uh, leads me to believe that it's in the wiper motor, but not in the multifunction switch right here. I mean, I know that could go bad. Yep, there she goes. Groaning, groaning. But I think that if I was Sherlock Holmes, I would deduce that it is the wiper motor. Okay, as you can see, I've got a bit of a problem. I think that the wiper motor is going and should be replaced. Now, I can't say that for certain. It still could be the uh, multi-function control switch. But I'm thinking it's the wiper motor. Hmm. So, let's take a chance and order that. Okay, I ordered it. Oh, someone's at the door. Let's go check. Look what I got. Okay, that was pretty fast. Let's see what's in this package. Okay, this is the wiper motor and linkage for my FRS. Okay, so I've got the wiper motor, which I think is what needs to be replaced, and the wiper linkage, all in one package here plus it came with the wiper arms which I don't really need but it's nice to have these as well I got a really good deal on this I'll put a link below where you guys can get the same deal okay so the real issue is how do I get to the wiper motor and linkage I can see it right there it's under the plastic cowling I searched on YouTube and I couldn't really find a video on how to do it so our next step is to get to the wiper motor. All right, so the first thing I did was remove the small plastic pieces that go right here. I have to be careful, take them straight up. They will come out, but if uh, just try not to force it too hard or else you might break a clip, but these come straight out here. Um, that exposes the edge of this cowl piece, this plastic cowl piece. And the next step will be to take the wipers off. Now they come with a little cap over here that just comes right off and that exposes a 14 millimeter nut. And we'll just take that right the heck off. Not on too hard. Okay, let's just remove that nut. Now a trick to getting these off is to push down here while pulling up here. It takes two hands. And push down and <laughs> All right, there you go. 
Okay, I've got the two wipers off. That was pretty easy. Now I have to remove some clips and then hopefully the whole thing will come right off. So it's handy to have a clip remover tool like this. Uh, this is invaluable for working on your car. I shall remove these clips. Uh, I shall remove these clips somehow. Yep. Yep. I shall Oh, that one came off easy. That one came off easy. Okay. And we'll move. Ah! <laughs> okay. Let's remove the clip on the ends here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. And. Come on. And the clip should come right, right out like that. Yes. How is this being held in? Okay, the two end clips came out pretty easy. These center clips or front clips are a little more difficult. You sort of gotta work it. Uh, I've got one out so far. I do not want to break these. So I continue to go gently around it, hoping that it will hoping that it will give up eventually. So these clips are really difficult. I find that you've got to put pressure on the top with a clip remover tool and then push up on the clip from below. That's what's worked so far. But these are not, this is the hardest part of the job so far, just getting these clips out. Let's see if I can do this last one here. Got it. <laughs> that was tough. Okay, the clips have been the hardest part of this job so far. There's been the outside clips. Then one, two, three, four of these really difficult ones where I had to push up from below with a pair of pliers to get them out. But there's one more clip right there. Okay, he's loose. We should be able to lift right up. And we just lost a piece. Ugh. All the clips have been removed. Now I should be able to get this plastic piece off. Let's see if I can. It's sort of, yeah, it's sort of slid. See over there? It's sort of slid underneath the uh, windshield. You just slide it down and out. Yes. Oh, there's a little hose attached right there. I gotta check that out. Okay, we have to unclip this hose. Okay, I can unclip the hose right here. Very carefully, unclip it. Okay, I got the hose removed from its connection here. Now, this whole cowl piece should just come right the heck off, and it does. There we go, the piece is off. Now we can have a look at what we've got here. Okay. Pretty dirty, but uh, we'll just disconnect the uh, wiper motor here from the electrical connector. Okay, I got the electrical connect. Okay, I got the electrical connector off that took two hands. There's a little tab that you gotta push here while pulling here. Okay, that's off. Now it looks to me like there is a mounting point here. And that's a rubber point there, but not a mounting point and a mounting point here. Maybe there's two mounting points and we'll see if this whole thing will come right off. Okay, we got a 10 mil. We're gonna remove this bolt right here. Not on too hard at all. You can actually undo this by hand here. Okay. This bolt has come out. Now this, this whole side's become loose, but now let's take out that one. Yeah, again, not on too tight at all. And that is, that is loose. There you go. Now this whole assembly should come out. It's held on just by a rubber isolator right there. 
and you can see that if I slide it out you can see that if I slide it out this way the whole thing should come out now let's see if I'm right up and slide out yes yes that's that's pretty easy actually okay let's compare the two and see if they match what I've got okay there's my old one which may or may not be wrecked and there's my new one my new old one which hopefully will work so you can see the job so far the most difficult part was getting those clips off to get the plastic cowl piece off otherwise easy job okay so I'm gonna grease the linkage here just in a few spots like here here and there and then we should be good to go for that I'm gonna use white lithium grease because I like it okay so everything goes in the way it came out we sort of make sure the rods go underneath the cowl you don't want to touch the glass you don't want to break the glass you sort of get it in like this and then we slide in the rubber isolator right here slide it in come on and there we go we mount up the line we line up the mounting holes and that's it all right so we lined up the mounting vibration dampener thing whatever Madui here that's in lined up our holes all we got to do is put our bolts back in yeah let's put the far bolt in we're so close okay the two mounting bolts are now tight it's in position let's put the electrical connector back on here it should just clip on it should just snap on there we go now before I go any further replacing the cow I'm gonna test these and see if it works okay the wipers are working I know I haven't attached the wipers yet or put the cow piece on but the wipers are working this is normal speed and it's not making a groaning noise and it's going at the proper speed also the intermittent functions and the windshield washer functions are all working so I think that we can say for sure that it was the wiper motor or else the uh, electronics inside here that was bad so now all we have to do is put the cowl back on reconnect the hose put the cowl back on put all the clips on then reattach the wipers now when you reattach the wipers you might have to adjust them on their mounting points to make sure that they're down as far as they can go in the proper position but other than that this is going to be a simple job Okay, as you can see that was a pretty simple job just the clips are difficult otherwise easy job so if you have to do this yourself now you know how to do it so thanks for watching photo Mike's garage I will see you next time